Welcome to the Capstone Design Program. We're excited to have you in Senior Design and look forward to seeing what you'll come up with. Senior Design basically runs like a small consulting firm within the Colorado School of Mines. And as such, there are some policies and procedures that you'll need to know in order to succeed in Senior Design. The objectives of this module are to introduce you to the purchasing process and record keeping expectations, travel process and record keeping expectations, the resources available to you on campus, laboratory location and use, and storage locations and their use. Many senior design teams will be provided with funds for purchasing materials, products, tools, equipment, or software. Funding may come from the client, the college, or from both. The funding mechanism will differ for each team, but will usually fall into one of these categories. The client writes a check to the school, and the team accesses the school funds via their faculty advisor, or the client buys material for the team upon request, in which case the team seeks approval from the FA prior to contacting the client to request a purchase. In either case, the faculty advisor is each team's first point of contact for all procurement questions. Assuming you're planning to spend school-managed funds and want to start making purchases, the first step is to make sure that the team has a budget to work with. If that's in order, the second step is to fill out the Senior Design Purchasing Form, available on Canvas under Purchasing. Bring the completed form and any supporting documentation, like quotes or estimates or calculations, to your FA. Your FA approves the purchase by filling out the bottom of the form. This includes the six-digit index code and the four-digit account number. With the signed form in hand, you can now go to the Senior Design Purchasing Desk during open hours to complete your purchase. See the course canvas site for hours and location. If it's an online purchase, the TA at the desk will complete the purchase for you and provide a receipt. If the purchase is at a local vendor, you can check out the card for short periods of time and bring the TA the card and a receipt back when you return. Finally, you'll need to make sure to coordinate with your team record keeper so that your budget is kept up to date. One note on purchases under $50. Reimbursement via petty cash may be an option. Ask your FA. Of course, advanced approval via the Senior Design Purchase Form is still required. Each team must keep an accurate record of what they've spent from each index. A template is provided on Canvas under the Purchasing section, and it's strongly recommended that one person on the team be in charge of keeping a copy of all receipts and managing the purchasing record. Any team or individual that violates these policies may be held personally responsible for purchases made. Extreme cases of disregard for these policies may result in students failing the course. Travel expenses for day trips within the Greater Denver area are not reimbursable. The Greater Denver area is loosely defined as Arapahoe, Adams, Denver, Douglas, Jefferson, and Broomfield counties. Gas and applicable meals are reimbursable for day trips outside the Greater Denver area without going through the official Colorado School of Mines travel procedure. Instead, for day trips, you can simply have your FA approve the travel expenses using a standard Senior Design Purchasing form, and then bring receipts to the Senior Design Purchasing Desk for assistance in filling out the proper paperwork. Overnight trips for Senior Design business are reimbursable, but you need to follow the Colorado School of Mines travel policy requirements. This means that approximately two weeks prior to traveling, you should fill out a Travel Authorization, or TA, form, which can be found in the Accounts Payable website link below and submit it to your FA, who will pass it on to the course faculty. With these forms in place, you can now take your trip. Make sure to keep all receipts. Without a detailed itemized receipt for a purchase, we cannot reimburse you. Also, keep in mind that we can often prepay for rental cars, hotels, flights, and other items before you leave, so take full advantage of that. When you return from your trip, you'll need to submit a Travel Expense Report, or TE, for reimbursement of any expenses that weren't prepaid. If you will be traveling on a multi-day trip, it's best practice to fill out the TA form and then meet with your FA and a course faculty member to review your plan. We can usually help you minimize out-of-pocket expenses and guide you through the mine systems. Any expenses that are submitted for reimbursement for day or overnight trips typically take several weeks to work through the accounting system at the university. As a mine student, don't forget how many tools you have available to you. In addition to the faculty, most of which would love to help you succeed on your project, you have access to equipment and resources that many of our clients would love to have. Some examples include the CECS Garage, where you can rapid prototype and run tests on your designs, the CECS Machine Shop, where you have access to all the standard metalworking equipment you might need. But many students stop there. In addition to those, you have access to things like wood and foam equipment in the EPICS workshop. IEEE members can use the Outlet Electronics workshop. And all MIND students have access to the Tool Library, where you can check out tools, Arduinos, and more. 
This is just a small sample of the resources you have available to you around campus. Make the most of them. And if you need something else that wasn't listed, don't be afraid to ask. There are so many other tools available on campus, tucked away in research labs. If you need access to environmental or soils labs, that can be arranged. If you need access to material test stands, microscopes, or wind tunnels, we've arranged that in the past too. Work with the faculty and your clients to get access to the tools you need to succeed. Assume there's a way to get what you need, and bias towards action by exploring your options early. While working on your senior design project, you may need space, including storage, meeting space, or workspace. All of these things are available to you in and around Brown Building W155, which is the Senior Design Laboratory. The Senior Design space is shown in blue on this image. The labs open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday. After hours access requires blaster card access approval. If your team plans to regularly use the lab after hours, please talk to your FA. With your FA's approval, you can request 24-hour blaster card access to the lab from the lab manager. Inside the Senior Design Lab, you'll find computers. Note these are the only computers on campus which allow us to install custom software if needed. Basic hand tools, basic electronics workstations, meeting space with rolling tables and whiteboards, in addition, there's a small conference room with a landline phone. There are also two rolling video conferencing or presentation practice stands available to teams. Please keep the rolling equipment and all hand tools in the Senior Design Lab at all times. When using the lab, remember that it's a privilege, so don't abuse it. Teams are generally assigned a storage space, not a bench, so all work areas in the lab are shared on a first-come, first-served basis. If you must leave something outside of your storage space, make sure it's labeled with your team name and contact information. Keep the lab clean, please, and remember to stop and think when you're working. Stop before you undertake any task. Think about the risks you may encounter. Observe the hazards around you and proceed with care and attention. There are several specific lab safety rules that must be followed. Never use the lab alone. Use it during business hours or bring a friend with you. Do not perform a task you are uncomfortable with. Talk to the shop supervisor for training. Note specific safety guidelines for each power tool. Wear personal protective gear. It's located at the doors. Closed-toed shoes are required if you're working on something heavy. Eye protection is required when construction is taking place in the lab. Secure all loose clothing and long hair. Loose hair must be tied back or covered to keep it away from moving machinery. Work gloves and cutting gloves are available to avoid burns, blisters, and cuts. Dust masks and earplugs are available to use at your discretion, and long pants are strongly recommended. No toxic fumes inside the lab. Use the area outside or a fume hood as appropriate. See the shop supervisor for guidance. Maintain a clean work area, and call 911 in the case of a serious injury. Report any injuries to the shop supervisor. Failure to do these things will result in immediate and possibly permanent removal from the laboratory. If you'll need storage for your senior design project, there are lockers available in the hallway outside the senior design laboratory. Once you have a good idea of how much storage space you will need for your project, contact the lab manager whose information is shown. Storage goes quickly, so the earlier you can reserve a space, the better. And as usual, safety is paramount. No chemicals are allowed in your storage space, and never run extension cords into your storage space. For example, don't charge batteries inside a locker. The faculty and staff involved in the Capstone Design Program are committed to helping you succeed on your project. You have a lot of resources available to you, both in terms of physical tools or space and in terms of faculty experts that are willing to help. Remember to follow the basic purchasing and travel procedures outlined in this module. They're necessary for the protection of all involved. Also, take ownership of looking for and requesting things you need like storage space, any custom software resources, or access to specific tools or laboratories on campus. We'll be happy to help but you own your project and need to actively seek assistance when needed. On behalf of the entire program, we wish you the best and good luck on your project. Let us know how we can help.